So I'm loading up some uh, one ounce lead drive key slugs. I figure I'd just show you uh, a recent load I just came up with here, or a recent combo, I guess. I'm working with some of these ballistic products uh, sold. They're just Cheddite two and three quarter inch holes. Come pre primed. <laughs> That's my dog, he's going crazy. <laughs> um, got Federal 12S3 wad and a uh, Lee one ounce drive key slug. Yeah, cast out of uh, just some scrap metal that I picked out of the uh, you know the yard or whatever. Um, so far with these, an issue that I've had with these is uh, the cup. This is like a one to one eighth ounce shot cup, and the slug is not tall enough to fit in here. Now I know other people say this kind of works really well, maybe with a star crimp, but if you're trying to roll crimp these, it's uh, it's way too the cup is way too deep for the one ounce, and especially the seven eighth ounce, it'll be even you know even deeper. So the next thing I'm going to try is the uh, 12S0, which is a 7 8 ounce cup. And I think I can get away with maybe just one of these mini nitro spacers, uh, 20 gauge. So uh, it's actually kind of nice with these new holes. They're maybe a little expensive. I could probably get maybe a couple of reloads out of them. But um, I'm running blue dot. And the way I load these is, get the light on here, the 134 powder, I guess, insert, they call it. I do that twice. And I notice that the thing will throw inconsistent uh, powder charges unless you kind of tap it. If you do that, that's throwing about 45 grains of blue dot, roughly. You just take your wad with two nitros and a one ounce slug, you drop it in there. Right? We'll see if I, if I can do this one handed. I know other people on YouTube have been saying that. And you notice how you got a good amount to roll there still. Um, I have tried these two and a half inch Cheddites. They're a shorter uh, a shorter wad. Let me show you that. Or a shorter uh, hole I mean, sorry. But these guys are just a little bit too short. And uh, maybe these would work really well with a 7 8 ounce slug. Um, with a, maybe a slightly shorter double A or double A 12 wad or something like that. Um, or I think the downrange blue with a 7 8 ounce and one mini nitro would probably work really well with these two and a half inch uh, you know, holes. So, um, anyway, I'll show you this. I got a drill press, Harbor Freight, whatever. It's cheap, gets the job done. I set the depth so it bottoms out where I want it. Put the guy down there. 600 RPM on the press. Oh, I just take a paper towel, spray some rim oil on it. Get you some oil on there, right? That's all you need. Fire this up. And you just nice and easy until it bottoms out. And the way I set this is I went down until I could hear the inside of the, uh, the roll crimper touch the top of the slug. That way I kind of know that's right where I need to be. I'll show you this closer in a minute, but uh, it really makes a really nice roll crimp.
All right, this is a finished product on um, the Chedite two and three quarter inch hull. Comes pre-primed, uh, which is kind of nice, uh, with about 45 grains of blue dot, a Federal uh, 12S3 wad, two 20 gauge mini nitro uh, cards, and a Lee one ounce drive key slug. Uh, I'll see how close I can get out here. But uh, they crimp came out awesome. And I like the clear, you know, it's actually clear is great for shot development because you can really see what the heck is kind of going on here. But uh, I don't know, you can kind of see, uh, see what's shaking. Check these out. And you can maybe see just a little bit, see it right there on that slug, where that kind of rubbed a little bit. That's from the roll crimper, and um, I was having issues. I tried a couple different wads. I tried the Windjammer wad, uh, which is a light blue clay buster wad. Um, that has a really thin pedal on it, and the slugs, when you jiggle it, it you know, has a tendency to kind of jiggle, unless you really put like an aggressive roll crimp on there. I'm talking like you know, really drive that sucker down. It kind of jiggles. Um, this wad, it will jiggle a little bit with this cup, um, unless you have two uh, of these nitro cards, the mini nitros. I also have the uh, the larger nitro cards, which are the, uh, these are the small ones, the .070 mini nitros. I also have the uh, the regular nitro cards, which was a thicker, I think, a .125. But um, these, it's just a little bit too... Uh, I can't get a good focus on there, but it's, these are just a little bit too thin. So one of these will still have a jiggle with this cup. As I was saying before, um, Federal also... I, actually, I like these wads a lot because they, they fit the slug like perfectly. Um, they'll go right down the barrel, and I don't think these are going to get tore up like some of the other uh, wads have tried. I like the Clay Buster, like this one here. Clay Buster Pink. These have a tendency to get kind of tore up. If you try pushing this down a cylinder bore barrel, it's real tight. I mean, you can't get the slug down uh, in one of these. I also tried, just for the hell of it, I bought a bag of these uh, short shell 12 gauge wads. Uh, these are the real shorties that uh, Ballistic Products sells thinking that maybe I could uh, make some kind of like handy little two and a half inch shells with these. Um, the problem with these is uh, the cup, the uh, the pedals are way too thick. The slug won't fit in there and it's a real tight, you know, real, real tight fit. And actually if you try chambering it, it won't, uh, it won't really chamber all that well. So that's the issue I was going to have in there. Let's check on the baby. Baby's doing good. <laughs> Um, anyway, so this is kind of the, the result you get. And using that drill press works out awesome versus a hand drill. Uh, the hand drill, they kind of come out all crooked. Then it's hard to get consistent results. Here, uh, with the depth set, I get very consistent results. The, uh, the slug is pretty much seated in there exactly on all of these. The crimp comes out real nice looking, you know, like a factory slug. And you know the cost is a little bit higher with um, you know with these pre-primed Chedite holes. I'm hoping maybe I can get a couple of reloads out of them. Um, I'm using the the BPI uh, whatever their the premium roll crimper is. It's the all metal roll crimper. Um, yeah, in a Harbor Freight drill press. You know nothing special. You know get the job done kind of drill press. Uh, this is what we're looking for, man. We're looking for nice, nice crimps, right? Looks good. They're all the same. Height is all the same, right? They look awesome, right? Like, pull some of these out of your pocket. Oh, yeah, I made these at home. What? That's awesome, right? So, that's what we're going for, right? We're going for... Hopefully it shoots real well. I think these are going to shoot great. 
Um, these wads are really good. They're strong. In the bottom here, I've got the, uh, you know, those cards really help. I mean, you got to have a card in here. Because these drive key slugs, man, they, they just beat the hell out of a, a regular plastic wad. Especially if you're firing this thing, you know, Magnum, you know, Blue Dot, you know, as much powder as possible without blowing up your shotgun type load. You know, 45 grains is, that's, that's up there. That's, I use 45 grains, or I use 43 grains of H110 in my 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. This has got more powder. Of course, obviously different powder, but still, 45 grains of smokeless powder is a lot of powder. And you'll it'll indent the plastic will actually like indent into here, and you'll cut the you know the base of the wad. So you have to have a nitro card, and having two you know costs a little more money or whatever per shot. But um, this is going to come out of there nice and straight. That's what we want, right?